Joining us now in Louisville, Kentucky, two special guests, Brianna Taylor's neighbors, uh, Chelsea Knapper and Cody Etherton are with us. Thank you both for being here. I really do appreciate it. I know it's a long, tough day. It's not easy to get up on a witness stand and testify and, and everything else that you've been through. Uh, but I'd like to begin with um, your reaction to what happened today, the jury uh, sending Brett Hankinson home a free man. Uh, Chelsea? Um, I just, I feel like the jury might not have took the time to properly go over the evidence that was given to them. Cody, your thoughts? Uh, I, I feel the same way. Um, I feel like a lot was presented to them, and um, I just kind of feel like a lot of it got looked over. Um, from from your perspective, I feel. you two survived and lived through that night, right? It, it could have gone a different way, thank goodness. Uh, when you look back and think back about that night, um, what's what what? How would you describe it? I would um, I would say that Louisville Metro Police Department as a whole, um, the best way that I could say is they royally screwed this up. Um, <clears throat> they should none of the officers that were there should have been there in the first place. I feel like if it was handled by SWAT, Brianna would still be alive, and this would have never happened to our apartment. And yeah. What? When was the first time you realized something was happening? Was there was there someone calling out? Did you hear voices in the hallway? Was there anything, or is it gunfire um, that got your attention, Cody? Uh, yeah, like I said. Um like I said in trial, I was woke up to what I believe was the ram, um, and then in the matter of 15 seconds of me getting out of the bed, making it, making my way down to the end of my hallway, um, you know, I was, I was faced with debris, uh, gunfire coming through my wall. Um, did did you did you know it was did you know it was gunfire? I can't imagine, like, waking up and you're all a little groggy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I knew, because um, you, you could hear it. I mean, I could hear I could hear the guns going off, and, you know, I mean, I do remodel work for a living, so I knew, like, when there was debris and drywall flying past my face, like, uh, that, that could be the only explanation for it. Um, so I, I knew it was bullets. Now, Chelsea, you were pregnant at the time yes seven months pregnant and how's the baby um fortunately he is very healthy and happy we're blessed that that's that's the best news right that is the best news out of all of this being able to make it through that night but i can't imagine seven months pregnant gunfire coming out of nowhere um what's 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 mode are you in at that point? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think I heard the last part. What 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 mode were you in? Like, what was your what were you thinking about doing? What were you doing? How how do you react at at that moment, knowing that you're carrying this child and and there's gunfire in your apartment? Honestly, I was just in such shock at the time of what happened. I mean, like I said. In my testimony, I was very fearful of, I mean, really what was even going on. It was at the time of waking up to that, I could, I, of course, now, knowing what I know now, there was all kinds of things going through my head at the time. I mean, yeah, I just, I froze when I woke up and I checked, went to Zayden's room to make sure he was okay and then... That was when the shock was over. Cody came and told me that I needed to get Zayden and get on the ground. And that's when I was like, wow, you know, like, what is going on? So tell me about how you were treated that night. So there's all this gunfire. There's absolute chaos. At some point, the gunfire ends. Um, what are your thoughts about how that went from that point forward from 
gunfire all over the place. It stops. At what point do you get some get some interaction and some sense of what's going on that night? And how were you treated? Well, honestly, when it was all happening, we didn't know anything about the warrant. It was the police that shot through the walls. We thought, you know, somebody got in a fight and were relieved when we knew that the police were there until we found out it was actually them that did all the shooting. Um, I just, like I said, I think that our justice system is broken, and if SWAT would have been the ones to handle it from the beginning, it would have ended very differently. Let me ask you, did, did you guys know Brianna at all? No, we did not personally know her. And was there, had, had you ever seen police in the area before in that apartment or anything going on there that didn't seem normal? I would say, I would say no. I mean, it was a pretty peaceful place to live. Was until that night. Um, before we run out of time here, was there anything that you wanted to say when you were on the witness stand that you either weren't asked or weren't permitted to say? Definitely for me, um, Hankinson's attorney objected, but the aftermath of this in Zayden's world was um, he wanted to grow up and be a police officer so he could shoot people. And I ex tried my best to explain to him, you know, that we need police officers and it is very important to have a strong justice system, but I don't know, it just... It really broke my heart when he said that, and that's when I made the call to figure out what I could do about this whole situation. And then I learned more facts of what actually happened, because it was, it all kind of came together slowly. Cody, I'll give you the final word tonight. Uh, I really don't have a whole lot to say um, other than um, I just, I don't agree with what, what took place in the courtroom today. Um, I don't feel like justice was served. Um, just like, you know, I mean, just like me and her talks about from the whole thing was, was, I guess I'll use the word botched. Um, SWAT should have been there. Um. They should have not have done what they should have done without SWAT being there. Um, to me, that's the whole. That just sums it up for me. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Cody and Chelsea, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, not easy stuff to do. The best to you and your family. At the end of my show, I remind everyone, don't forget you know, to hug your kids. I know you never forget, um, but... Give them a hug for all of us, and, and we're so glad that everyone is, is safe, and, and we hope that everyone can um, work their way through it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll be back.